By the way, on July 4th in Washington, D.C., come on down. We're going to have a big day. Bring your flags. Next week, when we have the annual Independence Day celebration on the National Mall, we will see a bigger performance than we have had in the past. There will definitely be some of the traditional elements that have happened for years, including there's a parade that happens during the day. The Capitol Fourth concert takes place on the West Mall of the Capitol, where you'll have performances that'll be aired live. But what we will be seeing as a result of President Trump's involvement is a speech by the president, a more extended fireworks display, and a military flyover honoring the armed forces that will certainly involve aerial performances by prominent military groups. And, and all of that will end up being a much bigger performance uh, in honor of July 4th than we've had in Washington for years. The whole idea that there's any sort of military parade is a departure from the past. President Trump had seen the Bastille Day celebrations in France in 2017, and he's really wanted to have some sort of military parade. In addition, we're having a fireworks display that is roughly twice as long as what is usually held. And so that, again, is, is it. So in kind of every way, shape, or form, this is a bigger event that directly involves the president in a way that we have not seen. One thing we know for sure is that taxpayers will be paying more this year because President Trump has decided to expand the celebration of the 4th of July on the National Mall. Now, the precise breakdown of those expenses are unclear, but there are a few things we can say for sure. For example, there will be an additional cost because the president gets a special stage, and there are just a series of costs that accompany any visit by the president, and that's something that we'll be paying for. The fact that you have the Blue Angels and other military aircraft performances will also translate into a cost. And the fact that the plane that's part of the fleet that flies for Air Force One will be flying over the National Mall. One other thing that's interesting that's surfaced as a result of, of this whole event is that right now, given the trade tensions with China, the Trump administration is proposing imposing a 25% tariff on fireworks, almost all of which are imported from China. And this is something that major companies, including the companies that are donating the show this year to the American public, are lobbying on. They're keenly aware of the fact that if there is a 25% tariff on their products, they will face tremendous cost increases. So. The, I've talked to, for example, the CEO of Phantom Fireworks, as well as the, the president of Gucci Fireworks. These officials say that while they absolutely oppose the imposition of tariffs, they offered to do this show before the president had declared that the fireworks industry would be included in this escalating trade war with China. But it's, it's an interesting question whenever you have companies donate things to the federal government that it often intersects with public policy. These fireworks owners say that they're doing this out of a sense of public service and that they are not trying to use the show and the donation as a way to shift Trump administration policy.